All right, I have come inside and Rex is kind of contained, so hopefully you won't hear all the background noise. I apologize for that. All right, um, number eight, six and a half minus one and nine tenths. So again, these are improper, for, or do that every time. Uh, mixed numbers, we want to change them to improper fractions. So um, to do that, we multiply the denominator times the whole number. So this would be 12. Add one, that would be 13. Keep the denominator the same, that's 13 over two. Um, 10 times one is 10, plus nine will be 19. Denominator stays the same, that's 10. Now, with adding and subtracting fractions, you've got to have a common denominator, so we want to find the lowest number that 2 and 10 can both go into, which is 10. You could use 20. You could use any multiple of 2 and 10. You just would have to simplify at the end. All right, um, 2 times 5 is 10, so 13 has to change at the same rate. 13 times 5 is 65, but just to show you, 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 would be 6. So it's 13 times 5 is 65. And then um, keep the denominators 10. And then 10 does not do anything to get to 10. 10 times 1 is 10. So 19 times 1 is just going to be 19. We're subtracting those. So now our denominator remains the same. 65 tenths minus 19 tenths. So the denominator would be 10. And then 65 minus... 19. So double digit subtraction. 5 can't take away 9. Go to the 6, bar a group of 10, and then add it to the 5. And then 15 minus 9 would be 6. 5 minus 1 would be 4. So that's 46 over 10. We need that as a um, mixed number. So 10 goes into 46 four times. And so 10 times 4 is 40. So that means that there's 6 left over denominator will be 10. Now 6 and 10 are both even, which means that that's not simplified. They're both multiples of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 and 3 fifths for number 8.